This video is going to be about 5 quick steps you need to follow right now on your PC if you want to increase your FPS and your overall Windows performance for gaming. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video because making this kind of content needs a lot of hard working. So make sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. Gear Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you're playing games using your wired or wireless connection. This is the one of the best programs for rerouting your network and help you to connecting with the nearest server of the game for achieving the better ping with lower input delay. So guys, make sure to check out the link in the description for downloading this tool and enjoy the free trial using my link in the description. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to optimize our background app on our hard drive. So for that, right click here on your Windows Start icon and go straight into the system settings. Now there on the right side, you will find that advanced system settings, go for it. Now go for advanced tab and go for performance settings. After that, you need to change the settings onto the adjust for the best performance. And this is the basic settings a lot of YouTube are already covering. But guys, go for the next step, which is the advanced. And guys, from here, you need to change here the processor scheduling from program to background services. After that, hit apply and click OK. Now in the next step, you need to go for device manager. Now scroll down and go for system devices. And there you will find out high precision event timer, which is also known as HPET. You need to disable the service or this device from here. Therefore, you can save your CPU power for more performance while you're gaming. So guys, disable this device from here and close out your device manager. Now in the next step, we are going to optimize our GPU settings. So for that, you need to download a tool on your PC, which is the throttle stop. So for that, you need to join my Discord server, link available down in the description. Simply go for the download tab and there you will find out fixed low GPU usage while gaming in 2023. Or simply go in the search bar and search for GPU and press enter and there you will find out this device. Click on this download button, click continue to download and download this application on your desktop. Once you got it here on your desktop, now right click here and click onto the extract to throttle stop. You will get this kind of the folder, open up this folder, inside here you will find out throttle stop exe file. Now right click here and make sure to run this as administrator, therefore you can get full access of this application. Now here you will find out this warning like throttle stop is capable of significantly changing the performance and heat up output of your Intel CPU. So click on the OK button and guys simply skip that step. Now in the next step, you need to change here the power plan settings for your uh, throttle stop. So in the very first step, here is the performance. Then here is the game power plan. Then here you will go to internet power plan. And then here is the battery power plan. But we need the best performance while gaming. So we will go with the second power plan, which is about the game. Now go for high performance and click on this drop down and select out here this power plan from here. Once you're done, now you need to click on this turn on button and hit save and now simply close out it and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC. Now in the third step, we are going to optimize and do some best settings for all power plan settings. So for that, you need to go for your Windows search and search for power and sleep settings and go for related settings and go for additional power settings. Now from there, you will find out all the available power plan of your windows. So I have the high performance, bit some high performance, then power saving and a lot of other power plans. So I suggest you the basically the most people have the high performance power plan already on the PC. So go for it. Now go for change power plan settings. Now go for change advanced power settings. And now here you will find out this hard disk. Go for turn off hard disk after and change the settings onto zero. Most people are having low FPS because their disk is using in the background and that causing the low FPS FPS drops and stutters while they're gaming. Therefore, you need to turn off the hard disk while you're gaming. Set it onto the zero. Now, after that, scroll down, go for USB settings and click on this drop down or expand button. Now, go for USB selective suspended settings and simply disable the settings from here. After that, scroll down, go for processor power management, click on this expand button. Now go for minimum processor state and set it onto the 100%. After that, go for maximum processor state, click on the expand button and set it onto the 100%. Once you're done, now hit apply and hit OK and save the settings in your power plan. Now in the fourth step, I'm going to show you some simple settings for your windows you need to apply if you are a gamer. So for that, go for your window settings. Now go for privacy settings, go for general tab and make sure to turn off all the settings from here. After that, scroll all the way down, go for background apps and also make sure to turn off this option from here because we need to stop all the application from running in the background. After that, go for the home tab. Now go for update and security and make sure to update your windows onto the latest version. If any update is available, click on this download button and download all that available 
updates of your windows because that will make your pc safe secure and also help you to get any more performance out of your pc so once you update your windows now go for delivery optimization and turn off the settings now go for advanced option and set the settings onto the percentage of my year bandwidth and check mark onto the limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in background because this will optimize your ping and your network internet speed so set it onto the 10 percent and guys that's it now go back onto the home tab and now go for this gaming option of your windows now turn off the xbox game bar go for captures make sure to also uh, turn off the settings now go for game mode and make sure to turn on the game mode on your windows because the settings will help you to getting more performance out of your windows while you gaming now go for graphic settings make sure to turn on the hardware accelerator gp scheduling because this will reduce latency and improve performance and also you need to restart your pc after doing all the settings now scroll down turn off the variable refresh rate now go for graphics preference go for browse option and select all the available games on your desktop so i have already added my call of duty 5m fortnite gd5 valorant cs2 and csgo go for the options of your that specific game and set it onto the high performance of your gpu then hit save and close out your window settings now in the final and the last step we are going to show you the best settings for your nvidia or your gpu control panel so right click on your desktop and go for your nvidia or amd control panel now go for 3d settings and go for adjust image settings with preview and set it onto the use the advanced settings now once you select it here now click on the take me there it will take you into the 3d settings or the advanced settings of your nvidia now you need to go for image scaling turn it off ambition of collision turn it off after that anti-stropic filtering set it onto the application control anti and living fx double a set it off now simply leave all these uh, useless settings because this is not important for the gaming simply set it on the default now go for low latency mode set it on the ultra max frame rate turn it off monitor technology set it on the g-syncs compatible whatever that is g-syncs or v-syncs after that go for open gl rendering gpu set it on your gpu whatever you have go for power management set it on the prefer maximum performance now scroll down go for texture filtering quality set it on to the high performance thread optimization turn it on and at the end here is the virtual reality pre-render frame set it on to the one after that hit apply and save the settings in your nvidia control panel now you need to go for adjust desktop size and position go for the settings and set it onto the full screen go for performance scaling on set it on your gpu and check mark onto the override the scaling set by the game after that select out here your net resolution of your monitor and the highest available refresh rate of your monitor and hit save and apply the settings in your nvidia control panel after that close out your nvidia control panel so guys that's for this video i hope you love this video please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here and also share your opinion about this video in the comment section so till that the next video peace out